Project Learning Tree, Trees as Habitat. Welcome to the Boreal Forest. Let's investigate how these trees provide habitat for a host of plants and animals. Hi everyone, I'm Molly with Project Learning Tree and today I'm here in Denali National Park with my friends Molly of Denali and Bella and Kenley. And we're here today to look at the boreal forest. This is an amazing place where all kinds of plants and animals live. And today we're going to take a look at trees and see what kind of habitat the trees offer. So as we go down the trail, I want you to just think about this. Who do you think lives in this forest? What do you think lives in this forest? Owl. Ooh, owl. A bear. Ooh, a bear. Deer. Moose. Deer. Um. Wolves. Yeah. Wolves. Awesome. All of those things, Birds. right? Birds. <laughs> so today when we make our observations, we're going to use our eyes. We got your magnifying glasses. We're going to use our ears, right? And if we see anything, be sure to point it out or let me know. You know what? Yeah, what, what are some things we can see to tell that they live here? Yeah. Ooh, a net. Walmart. Walmart. Oh, wow. Tracks. Tracks. All right, we're on our way. Let's Ask questions to generate a discussion about plants and animals using trees as habitat. Let students share previous knowledge and guess about what animals or plants they've observed on trees. One way to find out what kinds of plants or animals might use trees as habitats is to investigate and look for clues or evidence that reveals a story. Four things for their habitat. What do you need to live? Oxygen, and what do the trees give us? Carbon dioxide. Yeah, they give they give us the oxygen, and we breathe out carbon dioxide. So the trees are giving us a gift of oxygen, and then we give them a gift of carbon dioxide. Pretty neat. The trees can also give plants and animals the gift of habitat. There's four things with habitat. Everything needs food. Everything needs what else? water, everything needs shelter, and the fourth one is space. So food, like space. water, shelter, space. That's a great question. What is space? Space is room. All this area, all this space. So very Let's see if we can find anything for food, water, shelter, space. Looking at these trees. So all three of you can pick a different tree to go explore. There are all these right down here. And if you see something that might be food or shelter, or if you see a plant living on a tree, then that tree is giving that plant space to live. I'm going to write this down because it's pulled out. And then when we go inside, you guys can take your notebook and write it down there. As your students explore, be sure to jot down any time they see evidence of the trees acting as food, water, shelter, or space for any plants or animals they see. teaching and learning outside is to just go in small little bits. Go inside and warm up and then come back out and keep working. Don't expect the kids to take notes when it's cold out. We'll take notes here and then we'll go inside and record it in 
our notebook. Whoa, that is so cool. What do you see there? It's like a burrow. A burrow. Maybe a fossil or something small. That's so cool. Oh, really cool. Uh, Kenley said maybe a fox or something small. A bunny. Absolutely. You want to? What is it? Oh, yeah. A shrew. A shrew might be a shrew. shrew is a little rodent. Almost like a vole or a mouse. Yeah. Cool. The Oh, yeah, the snowshoe hares do that. They turn white in the winter. Absolutely. Yeah, can you see any evidence of something that's living there? Allow the students to explore the tree and encourage them to look on the trunk, on the branches, on the roots, if there's needles or leaves. What plants, animals, and animal signs do you find on different parts of the tree? Once you go back inside, allow students time to record the data into their own notebooks. They can draw pictures or make lists about what they observed. Inventory the plants and animals they noticed that used trees as habitat. Allow time for sharing and discussion. What plants, animals, or animal signs did we find on the tree's trunk? What did we observe on the branches? Where else did we notice signs of habitat? What types of evidence did we observe that let us know that these trees are habitat for another organism? In Project Learning Tree's new activity guide, Explore Your Environment, you will find student pages that you can also use during outdoor investigation. Working in partner pairs with clipboards and crayons, younger students can play tree observation bingo, matching the photos to what they observe. Alternatively, if it is very cold, use this student page as prompts for making observations and have the students Fill it out once they go back inside. When possible, spend as much time outside. Use this student page, What's the Connection, to generate a discussion. How do the plants and animals that live in and around the tree use it? Name as many ways as you can. How might the tree be helped or hurt by the plants and animals that live on or around it? Students can fill in the worksheet once they go back inside the class. Happens with Ooh, some I saw a bird! You did? Yeah, it was like literally right on that branch and no. then it flew up into the tree. No way! Good eye! Should we call it in? Yeah! Alright, let me back up here so I can take your notes. Are you ready everybody? Okay, you can try it. Have fun exploring your environment. For more resources and the full activity of trees as habitats, please see Project Learning Trees website. You can find this activity in Outdoor Activities to Do with Families, Explore Your Environment, the K-8 Activity Guide, and Environmental Experiences for Early Childhood. All right, Molly, thank you so much for coming down with me today. Masi Cho.